Here comes the fucking rain again, boys. And uh, while I'm at it, I may as well do a quick little update. The uh, playing with the IGBT uh, flyback driver here and uh, having a bit of luck. I just uh, nearly fried that entire breadboard by putting 20 amps through it, but hey, you get that. Remember to take your oscilloscope probe off when you want to hook up a switch mode supply like that one, because for some reason it fucking went to ground through the oscilloscope probe. Uh, not through the probe, through the negative clip. Uh, just turn this up a tiny bit and see what happens. Oh, we're not turned on here. I better plug in first. Alright, so that supply up there is, is uh, main voltage supply for the switch. That supply there runs only the uh, drive circuit and uh, I try not to zap the fucking shit out of myself. That's 5 amps. And of course that's the RGBT brick. I won't run it very long because I'm still testing for stability. Not generating any heat in that very short run, that's good. Oh, a little bit of heat in the bloody uh, driver, but nothing to be worried about. Oh, that whole board's hot. <laughs> it's still hot from when I fried it out. <laughs> what a bozo. Anyway, yeah, that IGBT is actually uh, uh, mounted to that uh, big piece of Valley heat sink. Uh, we've got four turns on there, some beautiful thick cable. Probably keep that away from there. It's better. And uh, yeah, I've got to play with it some more. Um, and fucking rain comes again. I don't know if I should be playing with high voltage while it's raining outside, but yeah. Anyway, I uh, said to Pete Ritchie and uh, Aussie 50 and a couple of other guys that uh, I'd show them this circuit working. Uh, I picked up these uh, big snubber capacitors and pulse capacitors off eBay about five bucks each thousand volt two microfarad and they're good for 1500 amp pulse so uh, they're actually being used as snubbers though not as uh, not as a uh, some kind of uh, you know like a tank capacitor or anything they're just literally a snubber keep the IGBT very happy two and a half amps ten amps won't push it too far, like I said. Still testing the circuit. Anyway, there you go. So we've got lightning inside and we've got freaking lightning and thunder outside too. Shocking, ain't it? Shocking. Anyway, thanks for watching.